Hey guys, Matt here. So first off, today wasn't supposed to be a portfolio update, but given what just happened, I think it's unavoidable. We kind of got to talk about it. I finally, after so long, I finally hit my six-figure milestone. Now, this was something I have been trying to reach since 2022. That was the first time I set that goal. And as you know, 2022 didn't quite go the way I wanted it to. But thanks to everything being so low, I was able to capitalize on that. And as a result, get myself to where I am today. Now, 4.5% is not exactly the biggest gains of all time, but it keeps getting better every week. Stocks are doing pretty well. Jivo, although it pulled back a little bit, it keeps going up and up. Hopefully this trend continues when it actually reports news. Meta is on its way back up. Google is at 10%. SCHD, I mean, we're just about break even with that. VOO is well, in, well into the green. I finally bought Target. Now, this isn't exactly the biggest position of all time, but hopefully Target drops and I'll be able to add more to it. Now, AT&T and also Verizon were probably the biggest reasons why I jumped over 100K today, and that's because they clapped back. As you guys know, you guys might know, a few days ago, Wall Street Journal released an article accusing AT&T and Verizon of knowing about lead cables and all that stuff. Um, just, just look at the news. But the point is that AT&T fired back today on the cabling issue, and as a result, the stock, the, the stock shot up. Now, I'm not going to read all this. You can pause and read this if you want to. But the gist is that AT&T said, although the journal seeks to raise the specter of a broad public health issue, lead-clad telecom cables make up a small part of AT&T's network. Based on its records, AT&T estimates that lead-clad cables represent less than 10% of its copper footprint of roughly 2 million sheath, cables of, uh, sheath miles of cable, the overwhelming majority of which remain in active service. Now, the one thing I want to point out, because like I said in the last video, I have no idea uh, who's right in this, whether WHJ is right in this or at and is right in this, but I do know that, I mean, at and submitted this to a court. So I'll just leave it at that. WSJ is just a news agency. Now, they're very powerful, but that's all they are. Until the issues they, they, they raise get prosecuted in a, an event that involves a court, all it is is noise. And as far as investors, both the WSJ, I guess we'll call it a hit piece, and AT&T's response, all this, is a noise, all this is noise until it ends up on the bottom line. What I'm actually looking for, what is more important, is their earnings next week. AT&T has earnings, I think, no, exactly a week from today, in which we're going to see its top line, its bottom line, and its cash flow. That is much more important to me over the long term than this noise that's going on but for now i'm glad the stock rallied and we'll see if it continues over the next couple of days but anyways take care have a great day and eat your vegetables